So you have the sliding glass doors going out to the back porch. It is concrete as well. So this side is about similar size of the front porch. You have the taller ceilings, the powder coated uh, railing. And then you have about seven steps to go down. So this is your backyard view. So you have woods there. I'm not exactly sure how far back the property goes, but that's your neighbor. But right here, there is, if you can see that fence, so you at least know that that's not your property. But how far, how close will we get to it as to what is yours? I, we don't, I don't, we don't know without a survey. But you do have a nice little concrete pad here, but that's it. So this is going to need some, some love and some innovative ideas. So we have the brick foundation. This is the side yard. If you're looking at the house, it's to the right. So this is yours. This is bamboo. You can see it's bamboo. It gets thick. But we have crawl space. So to answer the question, it does have um, a barrier down encapsulated no but it does have vapor barrier down they don't usually encapsulate unless there's an issue okay um, so this is this side of the house again you have the crawl space which is what you wanted so here's your front yard. You have a, there's a fire hydrant right there. That'll help with your insurance. It's nice and quiet. But you have, I mean, you just need some good grass. But it's a nice, you know, nice good sized front yard. They have seeded. Um, again, you have the concrete sidewalk and the concrete driveway. And then it, once you come down, it widens to turn into the garage. You have a little extra lip over there so that you can pull out of the garage and back up. There's the door. There's your new HVAC unit. And then I'm going to assume that your line pretty much comes with this tree line. Over in this corner, again, I'm not sure how far it goes into the woods. That is your bathroom window. That is your laundry room window.